Should you invest in upcoming Indian IPOs? How much returns can you make on Indian startups in 2022? Indian startups grew nearly 400% in 2021. But are they bound to slump in 2022? How can Indian startups recover with angel and VC funding mired in uncertainty? Thankfully, Indian titans like Narayan Murthy, Ratan Tata and Asim Premji have stepped in to recharge the Indian startup growth story by opening up family offices and private wealth management advisory firms as alternate funding channels. Murthy's Katamaran Ventures has invested in startups such as Paperboat and Udemy. Ratan Tata's RTN Ventures has made investments in ventures such as Cardeco, Ola and Snapdeal. And Premji Invest's portfolio includes brands such as Flipkart, Snapdeal and Lenskart. Family offices have now invested over $5 billion in Indian startups in the past few years. And by 2025, they are expected to account for 30% of the $100 billion total in startup funding. With such robust support, Indian startups just need to shift gears to strong financial metrics and define a clear path to profitability in order to survive the funding winter and emerge stronger. So what can you as a customer do with this information? For one, you could pay more attention to the fundamentals when evaluating startups or IPOs without getting caught up in the craze of it. What do you think? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe.